Hey guys, it's K. I I hope you're all well. So Tangula have done it again. We've got the K5 Pro from them and this follows on from the Tangula X5 TV box. Now specs wise, we get Android 11, four gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of ROM, gigabit ethernet, and being the pro version, we get the voice remote control. We also get 5G support and 8K support and a USB 3. And here's a quick look at all the specs on the back of the box for all the nerds out there. So of course in the box, we get the X5 Pro, and we'll just put that aside now and see what else is in the box. And of course we get the user guide and manual. And it's nice to see they've done it in colour. It makes it a lot easier to understand. Next up is this Pro Version remote control. You're only going to get this with the Pro Version. And it connects via a dongle which you plug into the TV box. And you just point it at the TV screen and the cursor will just move around the screen where you point the remote. It's called the Air Remote with Gyroscope. Again, a quick look at the specs for all the nerds out there. Functions wise, you're getting your power, volume, You've got that microphone for voice detection. You've got that arrow button which turns it into a pointer type device. And you just simply point the remote at the TV screen to move the cursor on screen. You've also got a voice activation button for voice control and shortcuts to popular streaming apps. Around the back we've got our battery compartment and we've got the USB dongle storage. You just plug this into the TV box and you're ready to go. Okay, let's take a look at the main unit and we've got the X5 Pro here now. We're getting this glass piano finish on top. Definitely a more premium look from the X5 version. And up front we've got our LCD display. And of course this case is all metallic adding to that premium look. Vents on the side and on the back. We've got our USB port, Ethernet, HDMI, SP diff connections for audio, a power input and an antenna connection. On the other side we've got our TF card reader and our USB 3 port vents along the bottom and we've got some rubber feet. Now the Pro version also comes with the standard remote and this has got all the features you need apart from that gyroscope and voice control. So in the box we also get the power supply, antennae and an extra HDMI cable. The antennae just simply screws into the back of the TV box. So this is everything you get in the box guys. So I've plugged in my ethernet, my power, my HDMI and my aerial and I'm ready to go. So let's boot up. Okay, so we're at the home screen and that was a pretty impressive boot up screen if I don't say so myself. It's been a moment and I've set up the TV box and I just wanted to show you this new gyroscope remote. So these are the two remotes you get with the box. This is the standard version and it's all very good, all your normal features. Now you do get a mouse function with this but it's a pretty slow affair. You have to keep clicking on the d-pad to keep the mouse moving. Now with the new gyroscope remote it's a different affair, you just click on the mouse button and just point at the screen and the mouse just moves where you point the remote. How easy is that and how convenient is that? And to select just press the OK button. It just makes navigation that much easier, not having to fiddle around with buttons. OK, let's take a closer look at what we get in the home screen back on the box. And we're greeted with a familiar Android TV screen. We've got our Google Play Store. You just need to sign in with your Google account. We've got the YouTube app pre-installed. And technically we should easily be able to play a 4K video. And sure enough, it looks like we've got 4K here. And let's double check that by going into the settings. And yeah, it's 4K all right. And I've got to say, it's running pretty smooth. And even when you're skipping through the video, there's no stuttering or lagging. The quad-core processor handles it with ease. Okay, back on the home screen, we've got a file manager. And you know what you do with a file manager, you manage your files. We've also got quick access to our applications on the home screen. And the box comes pre-installed with all these applications. You've got your Netflix, Disney Plus, Movie Player, and you get the Tang TV, which is probably one of the main reasons you're buying this box. And more about that later in the video. Now we've also got the KODI Media Center installed, and we've got the Mozilla browser for your internet browsing. And again, I was pleasantly surprised at how well this box handles the internet browsing. Again, no shortage of speed and zippiness. Now another cool little feature we get with this box is the ability to change your wallpaper. You can select from the default ones, or you can choose your own. Needless to say, I stuck with the default. Now the last thumbnail on the home screen is the settings tab. And there's some pretty cool things you can set up here. It is of course your basic Android settings menu with some bells and whistles added on. And if we head on over to device preferences, we can see what version of Android we're on. And of course we can see here we're on Android 11. And under storage, we can see we've got a massive 128 gigabytes ROM and 4 gigabytes RAM. Now there are some cool things you can set up on the home screen and these are accessed on more settings. So the first thing you can do is unhide the system bar. And the really cool thing is you can add hardware monitors on top of your home screen. 
You can choose to show your network usage, show IP address, show MAC address, show CPU temperature, show the CPU frequency, show the CPU load, and show information even about the load RAM. And lastly, show your display mode. And as you can see, we're running at 2160p at 60Hz. Okay, back on the home screen, another cool thing we can do is add favorites to the home screen. Just click on the plus button here, and you'll be taken to the apps folder, where you can choose which apps to add to your home screen. Now, if you do find the box running a bit slow, you can quickly clear up the processes running on it by clicking on the brush icon on the top of the home screen. And what you'll get is a message telling you that you've ended so many processes. So one of the main features of this box is the Tang TV that comes preloaded on it. And it is the main reason that this box is priced at such a premium price, as you are getting a lifetime supply of entertainment at a one-off price. So diving into the app, this is the home screen. And from here, you've got access to your TV, movies, and TV shows. So let's take a quick look at the TV section. And on the top, you can see you've got all your channels. And below that, it's all split up into different categories. And you simply scroll down and select the category and then scroll across and select the channel you want to watch. And as you can see, guys, there's tons of categories to choose from, which makes it all the easier to find what you're looking for. And it's a similar setup with the movie section. Total number at the top, your categories at the bottom, and you just select going to the right. Again, with series, it's more of the same. Total number of series at the top, categories at the bottom, and you select by going to the right. And once you're in a particular series section, you'll find all the series and episodes so guys, is the Tangula Android X5 TV box a good buy? Now for some people, the initial price is going to be a big no-no, but that's going to get recouped the longer you keep the box. The answer is going to be different for everyone. In my case, it's a great buy, because what you're getting for one price is a world of entertainment, including access to the Google Android environment. There's no complicated setup procedures. You just switch on the box and you're ready to go. So even if you're not technically minded, you're going to be able to use this Android TV box straight out of the box. Anyway guys, if you found this video helpful, please do give it a like and consider subscribing. And you may enjoy one of my other videos in the thumbnail above.